Revelio. Accio. There's mine. Revelio. Vanco's joke shop, frequented by regulars, regularly by Hogwarts students and villagers like Vanco's baseball. It's a joke shop. Revelio. Accio. Get over here. Revelio. Welcome to Jim Pippen's Pushes. Revelio. There you go. And then to three if Thank you. Pardon me, sir. Oh, thank goodness. When I heard the bell, I thought you were Miss Lawang. Not that she deigns to come here. Though, I don't believe I've seen your face here before, either. It's my first time in Hogsmeade, actually. Is it really? Well, Parry Pippin at your service. And this is J. Pippin's Potions. Potions for all ailments. <laughs> You'll have read it on the sign, of course, but Grandfather always made me say it in full. How may I help you today? Professor Weasley sent me to collect some recipes. I'm new at Hogwarts. You're the student she sent the owl about. Yes. I set your things aside immediately. I suspected if you're anything like I was at your age, you'd want your potion supplies. Is it not the most fascinating art to potion making? Rivals anything you can do with a wand, I've always said. A potion's really that versatile. They may not be as showy as spell work, but make no mistake, they are just as powerful. They can heal, destroy, protect. You'll discover all of this soon enough. As it's your first time in, I should mention that it's not just potion recipes I sell. I also offer ready-made drafts for all manner of uses, and I unveil new ones from time to time. Pop in when you can so you don't uh, miss out on anything. Hmm? But for now, let's get you those recipes, shall we? What can I do for you today?
feel free to take a look at the rest of my inventory or come back another time if you're in a rush today. Those. Cast a pretty penny, but better than being without when you, I need it again. Next up. Okay. Revelio. Thank you. Damn it. Oh well, whatever. Mind me, just gonna steal whatever you got in here. Revelio. Pardon me, sir. I'm here for the spell. <laughs> Matilda, student. I thought I might be seeing you soon. I am the proprietor here. Thomas Brown. Okay. I take Hi, it Mr. You've Brown. A conjuring lesson then. I'm afraid I haven't yet, sir. Ah, but you will soon enough. It is magic at its purest, creating something out of nothing. Of course, it is not without complexity, but that is where my spellcrafts come in. Okay. Stay the course, and you could soon impress even Professor Weasley. That's certainly something to aspire to, Mr. Brown. I look forward to that day. And I, too, see in it. Spellcrafts are incredibly useful for conjuring unique items like custom pieces of furniture or decoration. But I shall let Professor Weasley do the teaching. For now, let's get the spellcrafts you need. A potting table and a potion station, yes? I believe so, sir. Good. Nothing like being able to grow your own ingredients and brew what you want, when you want. Let's have a look. Let's look at what we have, shall we? Give. Give. If you're interested, feel free to take a look around at the rest of my inventory. Thank you. Revelio. Mm. Accio. Revelio. Accio. Give me that. You thought, shush, I'll get you eventually.
Revelio. Accio. I'm just going to go for it now. Tell them I said thank you. Oh, okay. Well, tell Matt I said happy birthday as well. Tishway. Revelio. Give me that. Revelio. Yeah. Lumos. Yeah, some sort of dark. Tiny little chest. Ooh, a free potion. Thank you. Lumos. Repair. Damn it. That's not what I wanted to do. Lumos. Nifty. I mean, I mean, technically, I'm cool. God damn it! That's what you get for, for trying to jump scare me, you old bastard. Revelio. That's why you sneak up on. Well, hello there. Thank you. This clip belongs to Timothy T Timothy Teasdale, who runs the Magic Neep. He enjoys being in the thick of things and enjoying occasions customers outside the shop. I'm here for the seeds Professor Weasley arranged for me to collect. Oh, the Dittany for the new fifth year. <laughs> I take it that's you then? No. Merlin's beard. Starting Hogwarts is a fifth year. You must be positively reeling from it all. Not at all. I'm choosing to see it all as one big adventure. Well, bravo. Not everyone has the temperament to take things as they come. Name's Timothy Teasdale, by the way. And this is my shop, the Magic Neep. I keep the cart out here because I like a good chat. 
Can't very well be in the thick of things if I'm hidden away inside now, can I? True. I suppose not. In addition to seeds, I have plenty of plants. Grow everything myself. My speciality is potion ingredients. Even Pippin purchases from me. But what say we get you a packet of Dipney seeds? Cool. Let me guess. You're after something fresh. Do have a look around. Plenty of ingredients to pique your interest, I'd wager. Well, that's everything. Better go and find Sebastian. Maybe if we keep those items. Rebellio. Can't do that yet. Don't mind me. Regular ass chest. Rebellion. Accio. Thank you. I officially have all of my supplies. Excellent. Did you get what you needed for your sister? I did. So I suppose That's the world is our oyster now. Let's see what else we can get up to. What? What? What's happening? The fuck are you? You entered the wrong town, motherfucker. What fire? Draw it away from the building. Away from the village. Here's another one! Just said fuck you to that building. Bingo. Are we weakening him at all? Keep at it! We'll wear him down eventually. Akio! What was that? A taste of his own medicine. Nicely done. Without. Lumos. Ow. Dick. Ancient magic. Oh, shit. Achievement troll with the punches. Goodness, a second troll. Did you two take on a fully grown troll by yourselves? Mostly me. Oh, so it's all a bit of a blur, to be honest. Merlin's beard. Are you all right? We are, and we were glad to help. I'd say help is a bit of an understatement nerve like that the makings of an aura if you ask me if you are unharmed perhaps the two of you wouldn't mind helping me put a few things back to where they were sure. of course officer singer officer singer and thank you again 
to attend to Rapolo. Rapolo. Rebellion. Thank you. Hengist of Woodcroft. This is actually the Hufflepuff Hengist of. Okay, see you later, Jersey. I'm probably going to take a break soon to make dinner soon. Make and eat dinner soon. Alright, yeah, but like I said, I'm probably going to take a break in a little bit. Uh, Akio. Repair. Thing for Officer Singer to worry about. Revelio. Accio. Repairer. Revelio. Accio. Get over here. Let's give me that. Repair. Lucky they didn't do no damage. Revelio. Don't mind if I do, just add to your building. Be a step down in terms of item gear, but it might look nice. Oh, yeah, much nicer than the only other rooms I've had. Revelio. Repair. Let's fix all of this. Revelio. Don't mind me. Thank you. Found in 1750, uh, and with locations in Paris, London, and Hollywood, Gladrags offers a variety of wizarding garments and accessories. Mr. Augustus Hill and his associate Otto Dibble happily help all those who wander into the shop, enjoying in particular the challenge of the customer with less fashion sense than most. Rebellion. I might not be able to talk to him right now. Thank you. Revelio Nifty Repairer. Revelio. You can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented blue powder. Oh. 
Now I get to speak to this, this guy, yes. Mr. Hill was just singing your praises. Thank you. Hello, sir. I don't believe we've met. Allow me to introduce myself, Augustus Hill, Clothier Extraordinaire. Okay. I'd like to thank you for your remarkable bravery in fighting those trolls, and not to mention your help restoring Hogsmeade to its rightful state. You're welcome. I was happy to help. Frankly, you deserve an Order of Merlin. But I can offer you something much more useful. I own Gladrag's wizard wear, and among my inventory are some unique items that afford certain protections, as it were. Life-saving protections. And as I suspect this won't be your last dangerous encounter, I'd like to give you one such set of robes. In fact, what you did today. Thank you, Mr. Hill. That's very generous of you. It's the least I can do. Uh, now, now, let's try this on for size, shall we? Plenty for your perusal today. Take your time. Sorry about that. I can actually have four purple here and legendary. Say we've earned a butterbeer or two, wouldn't you? Might help me forget that I was almost pulverized by a troll. I'd say that I agree with you. Perfect. The three broomsticks is just this way. Okay, so just an appearance like, gotcha. Okay, I'm gonna take a short break. Let me... Uh, let me 